New York Fashion Week has just gotten underway here in New York City, and one of the nation's hottest young designers won't be taking part. And that reflects Brandon Blackwood's rule-breaking approach to the industry, one that's brought him stunning success. Just 31 years old, he's built a multi-million dollar company creating handbags with outrageous resale values, and dress is now showing up on the red carpets of award shows. I had the chance to talk to him about how far he's come and what's behind his appeal. And why? His handbags and backpacks seem designed for an already established clothing line, but that was not the case. And for designer Brandon Blackwood, neither was any big plan. I would always say I never want to be a designer because it just seems super stressful and like a lot of work. And How do you feel now? I mean, I was kind of right, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I love it. I love this Inca gold, it's really cool. The 31-year-old's Kendrick Trunks. We do take a lot of things for granted. They found a feverishly loyal customer base. We're gonna do a TikTok live that's basically gonna show all the trunks. All thanks to social media in the midst of the pandemic. So you guys, this is the bamboo clutch. An account he says he runs all by himself. His viral pop culture moments have struck a chord. It's so fun. And then you see, you just want to move around. You want to move your hands. Look at that. <laughs> a far cry from studying neuroscience at Bard College on a full ride. A winter break, spring break during college. I would lie to my parents and say I got a science scholarship. But I was really at like Nylon Magazine in the fashion closet. This is our Elizabeth bag. After graduation, he worked at a retail clothing store. You know, retail was my best bet to like get as close as I can to the industry. You know, that's kind of where my first fashion relationships began. His first design, a backpack. I literally went on Google and just wrote handbag manufacturers. And I had no plans on like starting a brand or like selling it. I just wanted to make something for myself. I basically lied to this factory and I was like, yeah, I'm starting a line. I just need a sample. And Wait, there sounds like a lot of deception. There's a learning. lot of deception. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So many people would continuously stop me. You know, all the editors and stylists I was meeting, I would show them. And they were like, oh, you need to sell this. Like, this is great. Traction, but no access to capital. I had no clue how expensive it was to start a brand. I know, like, my first order from my factory was maybe, like, $6,000. I didn't realize like the shipping fees, the shipping fees separately were like another 2000. Walking into those meetings where you're trying to grow the business, mm -hmm. what reaction did you get? I was like mid twenties, walking into like Barney's and like all these stores. It was always the same reaction. It was like, how old are you? But in the summer of 2020, while the world was in lockdown and enraged by the murder of George Floyd, he stamped his many totes with the banner in systemic racism. Everything that was going on during in 2020, I just didn't feel like it was right to make a new collection. Like it felt really like fake. I remember posting it and I didn't expect the reaction that it got. All 500 bags he made sold out instantly. Then he took the chance to slide into the DMs of someone famous who might kick him up to the next level. Almost everyone I reached out to was like, no, we're gonna stay away from this. I DM'd um, Kim Kardashian and I didn't expect a response. And like 10 minutes later, and she's like, yeah, send it over. Why do you think it was so controversial, especially at the point of time mm -hmm. that you launched it? I think some people generally just did not wanna fight anymore. He's not an overnight sensation. He was building up his brand for that exact moment. Naomi Elizy is an editor at Vogue. For Brandon, basically you can still be exclusive while being attainable. What do you say to that? I think it just shows that there is a market for it. It is about you know being able to be attainable to these communities that were once excluded from the conversations of what luxury is. In 2022, he designed the red carpet look for Cheryl Lee Ralph, who took home her first Emmy 
in the dress he made just for her. Thank you! I dropped on the floor and just started crying, and I was like, we're both Jamaican, you know, it's her first win. It's like long overdue, and she looks iconic. It's my first gown. He's gone from backpacks to bags, now clothing. What does that say about his brand? It shows that he is growing, but also that he is being intentional and scaling smartly. It's gorgeous. Like, For a designer who is re-engineering his take on the fashion industry, it's a strategy that seems to be working. How do you explain having um, the range of customer that you have? Affordability has always been a big deal for you. I think where a lot of new designers mess up is that, you know, they'll start these brands, they'll sell like a blouse for like $800, $1,000. And I think that's like the first like start to like your downfall. Price your things for the people that are directly around you, that directly want to see you in and support you. And that's going to be the pricing that sticks. And, and his pricing ranges from like, sunglasses anywhere from a hundred all the way up to you know other out of prices thousands, out of range. but but really but, but those handbags you know two three four hundred dollars there are a lot of handbags around that price. they're way more expensive than yeah. that um and he he caters to so many celebrities and he just really has caught fire i like that jacket on you with the feathers on that. i don't know what that costs <laughs> but mark should get that for you you should get that for yourself Wow, and she moves her hands around. Yeah. As he, as he says. There you great go, story. Mark. What a great story. You have a yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. He's grown th like 3,400%. It's incredible what, what has happened to this young Continued man. Continued success to him.